previous episode of Life is Strange. Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! He called film Whoa. little pieces what of time. What the fuck? But he could be talking about photography. Or have you done something wrong? Talk to me. Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. <laughs> For reals, Warren, this is between you and me. Don't insult me. Max, go on. Hey, leave him alone. Max? Chloe? It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Welcome home, Max. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. Something happened to her. Wait! Is that grass? Tell me the truth. That's an order. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Max, tell me everything. Yeah. It's a creepy first day. It'll be interesting to see what it all comes up to. <laughs> That's why you don't have your alarm that close to bed, <laughs> so you can't reach it. Keep me clean. I still need a shower. I am so not a rebel. I always like my bed to be neat and tidy. Thanks, Mom. The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. Okay, so we can be okay. Storytelling for. Yeah, that's Rachel that we still need to figure out. Warren. White Knight, so to say. And Chloe has become a real rebel. Esmus. You are evil. 40 minutes or else. You dear hippie, what about that fucking snow? What about your new power? You have gone back in time and figured it out? I can't go back that far, smartass. Too bad you can't go back and warn me about that joint. I thought saving your life was more important. Boom! Max delivers the final blow. But for reals, we need to talk. I need you standing with me on this. Or eat an ass pasta breakfast at two whales. My treat. So, like... It's good to have minions. Got a bail master, breakfast is a go. You dear Mad Max, like I said, always for you. 
So, e more g. Oh, it means that I'm in 40, I'll be there, do not be late, or I will know time is not on your side. After all, you did let the step dork bust me. On my way, you are evil. 40 minutes or else. Um, hey, honey, I hope you didn't forget to watch the plan we gave you, but uh, don't drown it either, mommy. Didn't forget. Even with all this crazy shit going on, it is so cool having Chloe back in my life again. Like no time has passed. No smiling. Take your power seriously. Morning selfie, huh? Warren is blowing up my inbox now. As long as he helps me figure this out. Hey Max, the doctor's in the house. I've been thinking long and hard about your weird request. I sent you a bunch of psychics and science links. And without further ado, here's a few time travel films you must see. I'll send more as they come to mind. The doctor expects a full explanation for your newfound chrono interest. Time machine. Okay, pop fiction, time after time, primer, summoning time, time slip, time cop. That's all the time I have now as a very actually quantum physics to plow through. I'm not your fun back to the future homework that I never get. Now that you've discovered the art of science, I expect to see you in the lab more as well. I could always use a new party in time. Get it? Don't hit. I'm leaving. Doctor. This is so insane, it sounds logical to me. Time travel is not just a science fiction. History has recorded numerous cases of individuals who have managed to bend all rules of the time space continuum. The present dilemma is that the post who can navigate temporal dimensions are rightly reluctant to reveal themselves due to impact of public and government security. Nations around the world have spent literally billions of dollars trying to build their own version of a time machine. Thankfully, this is not in a case where infinite revenue equals control of the infinity. Infinite. Uh, or you might not be reading this website at all. This is where the chronouts enter the picture. It's clear based on the vast scientific information that tra time travel is only visible on a person by person basis, not driven or dominated by any one particular physics or uh, thermodynamic calibration. For this reason, we have created a forum where past, present and future time travelers can share tips, ideas and experiences to guide those navigating the rocky seas of time. Hence our moniker, the Chronauts, Brave Solitary Adventures on an Infinite Voyage. Let's stay within the forum and step into a river of time without fear of being swept away. Yeah. This wormhole thing makes total sense, but doesn't explain how I can do what no scientist ever has. Welcome to the wonderful world of the wormhole. Term lazily overexploited in science and science fiction. For neophytes, visualize a wormhole like an invisible tunnel from one end of space to another. Thus, if wormholes exist, time travel is possible and probable. The human trick is to discover the means of or device needed to link and traverse both ends of this time tunnel. Einstein's theory of relativity posits uh, that this is within the realm of theory. While a new generation of physicists hopes to develop an actual working model of this fascinating space-time con conundrum. Inside wormhole are links and articles relating to the most recent development of this fluid theory. theory. I would okay. say this is some crazy shit, but now I'm not so certain. Should I sign? Why are quantum physicists trying to control time? As you read these words, physicists and scientists around the world are using taxpayer-funded government programs to share their own notions of time and space, potentially altering the course of history itself. For example, Australian researchers are using photons to simulate quantum particles as they travel through time itself. Even though quantum time mechanics is a very recent theory, first predicted in 1991, it has caught fire within the scientific community to eliminate ethics and morality from the dangerous experiments. Thanks, Victoria. I always wanted to be a Max meme when I grew up. 
She'll spread that shit everywhere. And I thought I was into Halloween. Dana is not messing around here. And go I admit, this is hilarious, but I shouldn't sink to Victoria's bully level. I need to water it again. Good morning, Lisa. Your leaves are lovely today. I may not have a green thumb, but I have a green finger. What is yesterday, so let's not. Now I have to wonder if any of these films are based on a true story. Just because some ass pranked a girl's shampoo bottle and her hair fell out, we have to safeguard our toiletries. So, summer camp. Okay, Max, let's hit the showers now. Phone, not in there either. Have a table. Mrs. Hoida is still out sick. I heard somebody say she has severe depression. Poor thing. So, we have. Courtney, seriously? Do not forget I need those papers before tonight. Like now. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. I am so on it. Consider it done. Everybody else in the round, huh? Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. I needed that. Anytime. That guy has issues. Doesn't everybody here? By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. Okay, we're gonna check for cameras and perps. Trust no one. The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. After my shower, I'll bring her book back and That'll be a good excuse for us to chat. Maybe just talking with a friend will help her feel better? Otter power? I'm so not there. <laughs> I'm good to yeah. flow. Thanks. Out of order. Okay, let's wash up. What's up, Kate? School. That's it? That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. 
I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up. And you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Yuck. I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Max Selfie thought <laughs> she was a badass taking that picture. I should have beat her down. That was so uncool. She's jealous because Mark, Mr. Jefferson, knows I'm going to win the Everyday Heroes contest. He thinks Max is a joke. She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. <laughs> hmm. They are some evil... Evil ones. Go and, uh, I better get there. dressed and go give back Kate's book. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. Hello? Water? Sorry. I forgot. Message is everywhere. Okay, let's go and get pressed and then let's get um... What the heck happened to our uh, No fucking way. This is not why I came to Blackwell. And I still have to clean all this crap up after I find Kate's book. Rest. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week, and he couldn't even rewind time. <laughs> no book here. she just spilled soda on Kate's book. I better fix this fast. Kate needs the book and I don't want to add to her list of problems. Be gone, foul soft drink. <laughs> Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. Now I can finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. As if I have to worry about being late anymore. I do have all the time in the world now. My poor Donnie Darko. How could anybody want to break cute little Jake Gyllenhaal? Ta-da! I do love a clean room. Very zen. Except for that bullshit graffiti. Victoria, of course. That's what I get for making fun of her. Bitch. Oh, they took the picture, huh? Warren is blowing up my inbox now. This is so... This I went and I thought mm, I was in the house. Nothing. Dana is not messing around here. That's the only tourist picture I let them take of me at the space. That was a good hockey game and, and a great fight. the same. It would be fun to get some peeps together and play a real game instead of drama games. Now I have to wonder if any of these films are based on a true story. Okay. Leave. Hey. 
private number. Keep your smart mouth shut about everything or I'm coming for your ass and know where you sleep. That's oh shit. Now I'm getting anonymous threats? It never ends. This has to be from Nathan. But it could be anybody. I better be doubly careful around here or I could be in serious danger. If I'm not already. That's nice to her. Kate? You in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Max. Kate is all alone dealing with this video bullshit. I hope her mother doesn't disown her. Uh, call us. Kate, your father and I just received a dis disturbing call from Principal Wells about you and some part of the video. Our concerns about sending you to Black Wells seems justified. Please call us after your classes this evening so we can fully discuss this matter. We hope you haven't brought shame on you or your family. We will pray for you and expect you to pray for forgiveness of your mother. Kate used to play the violin every morning. She stopped last week. Kate even makes notes in her Bible. My parents never once took me to church. I had nothing to rebel against. I don't know what to believe now. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, I will give you rest. Hmm. When justice is done, it brings joy to the righteous, but terror to the evildoers. Maybe Kate has Morning a split bell. personality. Church girl by day, party monster by night. More that uh, she probably got tricked into it somehow. Damn, it's the all-American zombie family. <laughs> It's Windows. way too emo in here. Kate isn't that gloomy. Until lately. Kate's art is perfect for a children's book. Everything looks so fun and colorful and positive. That's a lot of tears. She's going to go through boxes. Kate really has a doting father. The light shines in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. Katie, you will always be my brightest light against the dark. Hugs and love, pop. I had no idea that Kate ever hung out with Alyssa and Stella. Hey, I'm trying to use my powers for good. That is the cutest bunny ever. I bet Kate is a good mommy. Hello, bunny. Ouch. She left out amnation. Dear Katie, no spirit or devil could have prepared me for what you have done in that videotape. And like a Jezebel, you release your hearted image before God's eye. I will pray with my church for your soul to be saved from eternal hellfire. Mount Dimash. Good lord. This must be Kate's H.R. Geiger period. Hot right now. Almost forgot what Kate looks like when she smiles. Poor Kate. She doesn't look good. Um, uh, hey Kate. I brought your book. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? I hate bullies. David Madsen should know better. I was hoping he would. But it's nice to see that you care about me. Kate, I actually do care. So, 
What's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. Why? Why does he think that? Because he saw the video. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. Why would you go? Let's have stuff on. So, why would you go? Lapse of sanity? I just thought I could meet some new people. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine. And then I drank water. Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. Ever. I take a sip at church, and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Uh. Nathan Prescott? Oh, shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. He's the opposite of nice. What next? All I recall is driving for a long time. Then I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... 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 That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. That really sucks. Yeah, I understand why that one is. Why did she cover up the mirror? She can't look at herself? So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? Let's look for proof first, huh? If you do that, they won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys, and they'll use that against you. Bad. But I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you up. You make me feel so hopeless. No, no, Kate. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I, I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. Thanks, Max. <sighs> well, if she goes to the police, they're not gonna believe her. Good job, Dr. Max. She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof of what happened. Hope she doesn't do anything stupid. Okay. Food, two whales, a 
you there? Don't hurt your fingers texting. Yay, breakfast. Emoji. Hey, Brooke. Oh, hi, Max. Did you see the snow? Did you see the freak snowfall yesterday? I was riveted by that weird snow flurry yesterday. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Um, <laughs> since I'm a science noob, I was wondering if you could explain it. I'm serious. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. I bet Warren can. Did you talk to him yet? No, not at all. He's my friend, not my mother. True. And Warren really loves to talk meteorology with me, since I'm one of the few who can talk back. Talk to you later, Max. Sam no. Ah. Uh -huh. What you check the trash can? Okay, so... The paint job looks great. Samuel knows his color schemes. The birds are flocking around Samuel. Hello, Samuel. Hey, Samuel. You're up early. Oh, hello, young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet, and I can feel the animals waking up with me. That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. The squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. <laughs> what animals do you see in the forest? Don't laugh, but... I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me, like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. Nothing weird there except you saw yours. Could be a sign about your destiny. <laughs> what do I know? <laughs> My spirit animal is a squirrel. <laughs> so, what did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. I don't think I've actually seen Taylor alone without Team Victoria. He has to Hi, it. Taylor. Why would you even talk to me after the shit you pulled yesterday with Victoria? I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. Instead of smack talk, let's just talk for once. You're funny. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment, so talk. Kate is really upset about the video. All this gossip is cruel. Boo-hoo. That's what happens when you preach to everybody about sex. She'll live. Why do you hang out with Victoria? She's pretty mean to you and Courtney. And she's bossy too. Look, you don't know her. I do. And she's one of the best friends you could have. A bossy best friend, huh? I guess I've had mean, bossy best friends too. Better than having mean, bossy parents. I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sick. But whatever. We've had our talk. Okay. Max, hey, check it out. Warren is out and about already, too. Looks like he's waiting for somebody. Warren, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. 
Thank you. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh, yes you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You're a real <laughs> everyday hero. You stood up to a bully and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? An old friend, Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I was too scared to tell Principal Wells. Please don't say anything. I'll give you more info later. Weird fucking week. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday. Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Okay. Sure. Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool, I'll text you the info. He deserves. Let's go and take the bus. Bus to downtown. David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate or Rachel. Okay, town, plug in. Pads, yep. Let's listen to music while we travel. Try to take it from me. It's mine. I wouldn't dream of it. I'm gonna be a millionaire. Hope nobody steals my lottery. Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. I bet he's seen a lot of changes to Arcadia Bay in his lifetime. She looks busy and stressed. Hi. You look lost. Close. Do you know if the bus has come yet? The online schedule isn't working. I just got off the school bus, but I'm sure the regular bus is coming too. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> I can't be late for this job interview. I can't believe I have to take a bus all the way to Newport just to find a second job. Are things that bad here? Where are things good? 
I can't even afford to live here. Well, good luck. Thanks, I sure need it. Hello, old guy. No time for chit chat. I'm a millionaire. Yep. Got my lottery ticket right here. Waiting for the bus so I can cash it in. Bloody <laughs> better, I'll be lucky if you make it by noon. Running late, grab a booth at the dining room, I'll feed you. Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. Oh? He looks like a photo of the classic Arcadia Bay, crusty fisherman. Good morning. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. Hmm. Has it changed that much? Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard, it has. Seems like a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. You have your own boat? I call her the Bali High. I've kept a hold of her in these lean days. Might be all the time we've got left. I thought one of Arcadia Bay's main exports was fish. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. The Prescotts have a lot of power. They might rename the town Prescott Bay, if that tells you much. Do you know them? Do good for my working kind. I know them through their bad deeds. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. Never forget that old fishermen never die. We just smell that way. I'd love to <laughs> learn more, but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. Snow. Well, that's a good start to the story. Excuse me, sir. Can you believe this town? The world is on fire, and our big headline is snow. I can hardly wait for <laughs> next week's big story. Clouds! The snow was pretty odd. It was right in the middle of a warm, sunny day. Oh, global warming bullshit. It's the Northwest. Snow happens. I keep reading how Arcadia Bay is booming. The paper can only talk about that or about missing girls. You mean Rachel Amber? I guess. I bet she ran away because she was bored. Who wouldn't be here? Poor woman. I hope it's a shelter for her. Hello. Oh, look at you. A fine example of youth. I bet you're a senior student. Yes, I go to Blackwell Academy. I could tell you're a wise young woman. I know all about Blackwell and this town. I bet you have dirt on the Prescott family. That whole family is dirty. They once done good things for Arcadia Bay. Those days are dead, like anything in their way. I know somebody who's being threatened by a press card. Then you be their guardian angel, because nothing gets in the way of that family, especially not the law. Hell, they own your school, Blackwell. Almost. You must know Joyce Price from the Two Whales Diner. She's fed me more than my own family. How's a daughter your age who's always in trouble? 
<laughs> married to a real prick. That's true. His name is David Madsen. He told me to get a job once, asshole. Not sure what Joyce sees in him, but he better treat her right. How long have you lived in Arcadia Bay? A thousand years. I've gone through the same changes as the town. What changes to the town? Ones it takes a lifetime to see. There's a lot of beauty here, but a lot of darkness, too. Greedy bastards that ruin this town put people out of work. Out of home. Like me. I'm sorry. Have you ever lived outside of here? Where the hell would I go? I hate the sun and love the mist. I might be homeless, but Arcadia Bay is still my home. I have to go now. Goodbye. I tried. smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware Ugh, makes me feel 13 again. Good lord, talk about apocalyptic. Now oh, that brings back memories. Chloe and I loved the parade. These fishermen are so damn quiet. I wonder what people think about when I eat alone. Food? <laughs> no, that guy looks unpleasant. You'd never know how weird this town is by these postcards. I would buy a shirt, but they're so damn tourist. The cool, poster huh? doesn't mention whacked students with guns. That's before the piss floor. <laughs> that graffiti has been here forever. Gross. I walk with me. I did something. Thank you, redneck poet. Probably some. Okay, you to go I might make Chloe check this out with me. Why does that Big so quotes. not sound fun? This guy has serious cojones. <laughs> oh man, I bet that's the same gum from when I was here last. <laughs> That officer looks nicer than wannabe cop David Madsen. Trevor looks as happy as Dana did. Justin is such a mellow dude. What's up, Justin? Getting my coffee on before I cut class and destroy some rails. Shouldn't you be taking photos? Yeah, 
yet? Not yet. I need to get my coffee on, too. Yeah, throw in a little green bud and you have the perfect hippie cocktail. You are so not a hippie. So where's all your homework, schoolgirl? School? Speaking of buds, I saw your bro Trevor sneaking out of Dana's room. Trevor finally told me about <laughs> him and Dana hooking up. He got there first, so I snooze and I lose. See you later, Max. Hey, Trevor. Holla, Max. By the way, I know you saw me in the dorm. Yeah, I saw you coming out of Dana's room. Yeah, and I finally had to tell Justin because, well, he was into her too. How did Justin react? I got him blazed. He was cool. Nobody has secrets in Blackwell anyway. See you in class, Max. <laughs> Forgot about the fishing wall of fame. Whoa, Ken Kesey with Joyce? That's so perfect. I got you, babe. <laughs> How apropos. But no fucking way. That's funny. Our family never went well watching. It looks fun. Okay, let's sit down. And there she is. A lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like, you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. <laughs> but I wish you'd been here to help save Chloe. She got busted yesterday smoking out. Again. I know. Chloe told me that her stepfather hit her. I am sorry that was your introduction to David. I hope you get to know him on your terms, not Chloe's. He's a good man. He just... Yeah, I'm sure he is since you married him, but... Don't be so harsh on Chloe. It's good you're here. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Chloe must have changed a lot during that time. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Why? What did Chloe tell you? I told you. Chloe doesn't have to tell me anything. I just know how David is at Blackwell. You know what happened. David slapped Chloe. He fucked up. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. I get it, Joyce. I know Chloe still likes to stir things up. Yeah, she does provoke people, especially David. I just want us to be a family soon. I guess it's all about time. I think you're right, Joyce. So, now let's get down to the nitty-gritty. 
What do you want to eat? The last good Belgian waffle I had was here when I was 13 years old. So, bring it on. Now finish your coffee. <laughs> One Belgian waffle for the hungry girl. The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. So what we picked. Most expensive one of them all. Girl, pronto. One Belgian waffle at 12 o'clock high. I love the delicious anticipation of breakfast. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. Can I get some beer and bacon before I die? This is a diner, not a bar. No <laughs> beer? <laughs> it looks like you had plenty. Stick with the bacon. The lighthouse looks so mysterious. I wish I could stay in this moment forever. I guess I actually can now. But then it wouldn't be a moment. No beer? What, what kind of dive is this? Incoming! We make you out I time. can hear your stomach rumbling from here, Max. Here, you'll love this. I'm drooling like a baby. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ugh. Mm, speak of the devil. Mom and Max, together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. No, you're not. This is my treat to you for coming back to rescue my daughter. Nobody needs to rescue me. <laughs> Unless you set your room on fire smoking out. Oh, God, here it comes. Didn't you and Sergeant Pepper already read me the riot act last night? Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. You guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town. What is this shit on the jukebox? Now that that's out of the way. Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation. And I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. Okay, Max. Impress me. I don't know. Do you have some kind of power or not? Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. That was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. You need to look at the items and rewind so Chloe believes you. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. So, e. Cigarettes. Uh, so, 75, 80.
Warning ticket. You got this, Max. Now rewind and blow Chloe's mind. So, this is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Oh my god, I need to know how many? Uh, 13 cigarettes. I smoke too much to have 13 cigarettes. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. Oh, I need to know exactly how many there was. That was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. Okay, Max. Study every mm. item carefully and don't forget anything. Seven. So, this is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know mm -hmm. I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? Hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? <laughs> Huh? 86 cents. That's right, living large in Arcadia Bay. So that was cool. Show me more. A parking ticket. You know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? 10.34 a.m. Booyah! Max can tell time! Amazeballs! Mm -hmm. I literally just got <laughs> chills all over my neck! Amazeballs. You have powers! I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Very good save. Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. I am freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. I will predict the future. No way! Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments, so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. 
Oops. Did you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. That's the best song I've this heard This is yet. sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So what are you waiting for? I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. The trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. So what happens next? The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Justin and Trevor are fighting, and Joyce breaks it up. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. Hmm. The jukebox <laughs> goes crazy as a butterfly lands on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. Oh, that was a fly. But let's see if everything happens like you said. My pin of fly, the last part. Oops! Dude, Did you, you right. break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh! And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a oh, dick! So cool. Cool. You bitch! Take your fight club outside! He started it! I'm finishing it! That is wild! Was it a butterfly or was it a fly? This is a That's sad day in Maxwell. This is yeah. sure the hell fly. better no, than that other cockroach. garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So what are you waiting for? I'm going to predict four of... The trucker drops his mug. So what happens next? The cop gets an emergency. Well, let's just see how. Justin and Trevor. This is getting good. The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. Okay, let's go. Oops. Did you break another cup? Oh, where really? Go, Mom? No refill for you. Shh. Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called it. But he's off to go bust some skaters. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. <laughs> Trevor and Justin must be in love. You predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. This isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use it. Screw that! Of course it's a toy! The best toy ever? You can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened! Grow up. <laughs> Maybe you made a move on me and I would never know. Yes, that's what I did. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. I don't have time. You did not just say that. Uh, check out your nose. Too much blow? Hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. 
see what happens when we hook up again? Then let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. I'm gonna check that. Okay. I think I'm ready for thirds. But you're only on your first. My stomach plans ahead. Your stomach is stocking up for winter. Okay, Supergirl, let's go to my secret place. Don't even answer. We have places to go and people to do. Come on, before mom starts some more shit, let's bail. It's Kate Marsh from Blackwell. Big whoop. You don't call me once in five years and now you're all over some biatch you see every day at school? I see how you roll. So go ahead, chat up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. I've got other people to hang out with too. But I need to answer that one. Hey Kate, what's up? Please, don't let your best friend get in the way. You okay? I promise, Kate. I won't forget. I swear. Just do your homework and don't stress. I really don't think we should go into this right now. I'll call you later, okay? Thanks, Max. If you'd rather chill with Kate, please, go ahead. You are ridiculous. Oh. I'm chilling with you, okay? For now. Let's rock. Sucks that Chloe and Joyce got into an argument. Yeah, let's move on. going to get pissed at me this week. That depends on you and how well you do in this phase of the test. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back and she's also super sized. We don't know for how long. Exactly why it's time to have fun. David might be a douche, but you did steal his gun. Is everybody armed in Arcadia Bay now? Only the ones who shouldn't be, like Step Dildo. Until now. I'm not in the revolution yet, Che. You are the revolution, Max. So we should figure out how to best use and abuse your power with a test. Drink? Yuck. You are so cute. You haven't changed a bit. Okay, let's do this. Can you find five bottles while I prep the shooting range? Beer and guns? <sighs> nice combo. You can handle it. Now go find us five bottles, pretty please. Mm. <sighs> Stupid bottle. Power comes with a uh, price, so to say. Hello, bottle number one. Four more to go. So sad to look at a grounded boat. I wonder who owned that and where they are now. Every car has its own tale and history. Break time. Aw, oh, poor thing. They left you here all alone. This is the scariest thing here.
Okay, so let's see. No way! I totally remember going there when I was a kid. I loved the Hush Puppies. Now the sign is just Arcadia Bay junk. Those shells look fresh. Disturbing to see old syringes on the ground. Huh. I could use this board as a bridge. Doesn't look too heavy. I think we need to go around. The Bigfoots were here. Mm -hmm. Move it. Way heavier than I thought. Ugh. Bottle number two. Boom. Only three bottles left. It's there. We're going. We are so going ape. Newberry 60 miles. We should leave around 5. I drive. Hell yeah, we'll be willing your new ride. We have to get supplies for driving. Maybe we can have dinner first or whatever. Anyway, go ape. Too late. All this rusted metal makes me feel serene. Am I morbid or just goth? Nope, I don't want to go there. Okay. Yeah, let's not go there. Then. This looks like a graffiti museum for Chloe and Rachel. That kind of hurts. I can't see Chloe playing with makeup. Rachel songs. I wonder if Chloe would ever make me a mixtape. Rachel songs. I wonder if Chloe would ever make me a mixtape. They really were besties. That could have been me instead of Rachel. Three down, two more to go. Talk about fine. I want to die. <sighs> Jeez. Who wrote this? So Rachel did go to a Vortex Club party. This flyer is dated right before she disappeared. I don't want to intrude, but I was here. Now we're officially a trio. We just have to find Rachel.
Mm, yeah, that was that. Oh, camera. Beyond repair. Rest in peace. I wonder how many generations of fashion went through that washing machine. Okay. One more bottle to go. Hello, little sport. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, Max, sorry to have bothered you by asking for your advice. I guess I shouldn't do anything but let people enjoy my video all over the world. Okay, that is not what I meant. I just want you to be careful. Too late, I guess, but thank you for answering my call this morning. I really needed a friend that you delivered. I'm on your side. Too late. Thanks for the tip. How to find the last bottle, huh? I wonder if Chloe thinks about her father when she looks at all these smashed up cars. Exactly like the same dough from my tornado vision. That dough is the perfect photo op. I know there's a bonfire spot where people party around here. Okay. This was an old school punk shirt. Where can you be, little last button? She says they should be yeah. oh, no. can go further this way, I think. Dead end. There's a bonfire spot where people party around here. And you need to find that. Nope, I don't want to go there. Okay. Place for they okay. I don't want to go that way. Oh side of the car. Oh. 
Okay, let's not then. Uh, I need the last bottle. Come on. Say this should be a There's a bonfire spot where people party around here. Yeah, you say that. I haven't really seen one of those spots though. Found syringes. I don't want to go that way. Nope, we don't. In in there. That one, there's the bow, there's the old camera. Oceans. Okay, that was hidden away. Voila! Now I can deliver this bottle booty to Captain Chloe. Use the right mouse button instead of using the control button as I did. Now we're officially a trio. We just have to find Rachel. Thanks, Max. Wait, one more for the road. You're serious about this. We're gonna shoot all these bottles without wasting a single bullet. Max, you have to help me aim. Show me the way, Max. I need to see you shoot first. Show me the way, Max. Aim a bit to the right. Sir, yes, sir. Oh, yes! Did you see that shit, Max? Duh. That was so fucking cool! Now for the second bottle. Now, Max? Where do I aim? You're on target. Pull the trigger. Now, Max, where do I aim? Aim slightly above. Right between the eyes. Watch out, Nathan. Now that is fun. Let's pump up the volume and find me another target. I want to get creative here. Give me something to shoot, Max. Aim at that old blue plank here. I hate old planks. Yawn. 
I must rid the world of those bottles. Come on, Max. Rewind and help Chloe aim. Give me something to shoot, Max. I bet you want to blow apart those old computer monitors. Let's reboot them with a bullet. Old school. Lame. Oh my god. Give me something to shoot, Max. He wants to Let's see the... you take a crack at that rusty barrel. Sorry, Mr. Barrel, your time has come. Listen to those fat bullet beats! I guess that was another thing. I Give me something to shoot, Max. Let's take out this wheel rim on your left. Taking out the wheel rim now? Hella yes! Nice shooting, Tex. Now that's what I'm talking <laughs> about. Satisfied? <laughs> like, never? So I want one more uber cool trick shot. How about using that junker for a target now? Dude, I need a target before I shoot. Well, Max? I want to see that windshield go down. Watch out for flying glass! You guys better run for cover! <laughs> Yet the bottle remains. Oh, so it has to uh, hit the bottle, okay. Dude, I need a target before I shoot. Put a real dent in that front bumper. Goodbye, cruel bumper. <laughs> Jesus, I sh shot myself! Ugh, I shot myself! Back up, Stupid back up! gun! Hold on, Chloe. Dude, I need a target before I shoot. How about aiming for the left tire? Adios, spinning wheel of death. <laughs> Uber cool. I cannot believe this is for reals. My best friend is a superhero. Now it's your turn to bust a cap. I don't know. Max, your nose. Damn. I don't feel so super. Max! Okay, let's trip out for a second, huh? You freaked me out there. Do you feel any better now? A little. Thanks for helping me. Just give me a minute. Too much action for Arcadia? Maybe not enough. This is kind of fun. Scary and stupid, but fun. Let me know when you feel okay. God, this power really messes with my head. I'm glad I feel normal again. I better go chat up Chloe. Okay. Looks like you're ready to lock and load. I don't know about this. Are you afraid of getting in trouble? Oh, boo-hoo. Max is afraid. I know you can handle this. And I'm here to guide you. Make me proud, sister. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. Or is it Bonnie and Clyde? Excuse us, Frank. Oh, sorry, Chloe. Don't let me get in the way of your bonding. I heard the gunshots and the breaking glass. It's cute that you're playing with guns. Just like me at your age. We're not anything alike, man. We both need money. In fact, mm. you need it so bad, you owe me a shitload, don't you, Chloe? Huh? 
You'll get your money. Don't they all say that? You know, even when they're broke and acting tough? What are you hiding there, girly? Let me see. Where did you get that bracelet? A friend, and it's none of your goddamn business. You're my business now, That's and I- That's Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. No, it wasn't. You stole that shit. Give it to me right now, asshole. You better step back before you regret it, girl. I mean it. You want me to cut you, bitch? Please. Please step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Come on, girly. Shoot me. Ah, oh, Christ. You're more like Abbott and Costello. Nice piece. I'll consider this interest on your loan. Thanks. You have until Friday to pay me, or I'll track you down with this interest. Have a good play, kids. Yeah, I'm not gonna kill you. You really somebody. stood your ground. I freaked. I don't like guns. It'll be hard to keep Nathan off my ass. My step shit will have his other gun sealed in an electrified bunker by now. Sorry, Chloe. I've never held a gun on a human being before. Not cool. I know, Max. Really. I'm actually relieved it worked out this way instead. And there are more guns out there. Let's <laughs> blow. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. At least Frank is gone. He won't fuck with us again. He just wants his money. Oh man. Frank took Chloe's gun because of me. Well, you know what? That's okay. Chloe's way- Wow, sir. Why did Frank have Rachel's bracelet? We need to talk about this later, but I better follow Chloe now. Okay. I can't believe you basically gave him my gun. Here you go, Frank. You can't keep getting mad at me, especially for stupid shit. I'm not mad. It adds up in my mind as people letting me down. And I just liked having that gun, man. Now you have me to protect you. I'm just glad you were here. Me too. I think. Chloe, why the hell are you hanging around scary losers like Frank? It's weird. Let's take a break and I'll talk. Feels like a different world, huh? I wish we could stay forever. Can we build another pirate fort and keep the world out we need a new secret hangout at least Frank wouldn't find us are you okay Max I'm still freaked out about what happened that was awful Chloe I'm sorry but Frank isn't as hardcore as he fronts all he cares about is his cash stash and mangy dog Chloe are you for reals Frank just took your gun and threatened us <laughs> He's armed and clearly dangerous. Max, I know. Crazy shit is the new normal for me. That's why I plan to leave Arcadia Bay without paying Frank off. Now, tell me exactly what's going on between you and Frank. Does he have a last name? Frank Bowers. Obviously don't get my pot from you, remember? Anyway, Frank and I kind of hung out. Hung out? Hung out? You don't mean you... Ah, oh, no, we didn't have sex. Gross, man. He never even tried. I just made the mistake of borrowing money so Rachel and I could bail out of here. That's it? No. I want to know how Frank got Rachel's bracelet. What do you think? I think we have to be careful and keep an eye on this guy. Without him eyeballing us, okay? Ah, it's so weird talking to you about this insane crap. We haven't hung out this much since we were tweens, and it's like no time has passed. I wish Rachel was here to meet you. Do you think that Rachel and I would have been friends? 
You're not that different. She had, has a great eye for images and for art. Plus, she's a smartass like you. <laughs> we would all be hella best friends forever. I know she must be as cool as you are. I have no doubt we'll meet soon. Railroad tracks always make me feel better. I have no idea why. Kerouac knew. It's the romance of travel and movement. The sound of the train whistle at Look night. Look at the beat poet here. I'd rather be a good photographer. You are. You just have to stop being afraid. Perfect. Ah! Better find a tool to cut those wires. Hurry! Find a tool around here. Please oh, get me out of here. Working on it. Shit! I can't budget at all. Definitely use this bad boy. Max, get me out of here! Score! I'm working, I'm working. I can pull a total MacGyver. In and out, no problem. Well, unfortunately, I can't run in this game, so I'm slowly walking my way over there. Please, get me out of here! Which wire to cut? The train's coming! Oh, stupid light! No go! Shit! But which wire to cut? Circuit City. Wire to cut. 
Now that's the right cable. Yes! I did it! You okay? You saved me again! Crazy! Now we're totally bonded for life. Damn. That was close. Aren't you glad I took you away to a nice, quiet, desolate spot? It was cool <laughs> to spend time in your lair, but I have to get back to school before my next class. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. Thanks for the ride, Chloe. Right on time for my art lesson. Thanks for coming with me. Sorry to be so boring. Nothing exciting ever happens to us, right? Listen, your rewind power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. That might explain your tornado vision. Hmm. Explain what? Snow equals the ginormous twister that takes out Arcadia Bay? You're high. Wake up, Max. You saved my life twice now. You altered the course of my destiny, yours and whoever. Do you know about chaos theory? Hmm. What do you know about chaos theory, Miss I Hate Math? Five years ago, asswipe. Some people change. And your situation is the perfect storm for quantum physics. Why me? I'm just a geek girl in some small town. A perfect example of strange attractors? Don't they teach you kids anything at Blackwell? We have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. So let's party with your power, Rockstar! Like he said, Professor Price, a superhero needs a sidekick. How can it be such a shitty week and yet one of the best of my life? Because we're back in action again. little time before Mr. Jefferson's class, so I can do some wandering. <coughs> so are you going to that Vortex Club party? Like I would miss it. I have the sweetest outfit. Justin always looks stoned. End of the world party, huh? I wouldn't want to be at an end of the world party with Nathan Prescott. Too much truth in advertising. You can really learn a lot about a school by the weird shit posted on the boards. Best singer ever in Oregon, looking for best guitarist ever from kid. Perform kick-ass bands to take over the world. <laughs> that lonely the friends come praise with your peers. Bible study, huh? Swim like an otter. Like new tablet for sale, it contains five gigabytes of cap picks. Zachary always looks like he's ready to throw a football. Hello, Zach. Sup, Max? It's weird to not see you without your camera. I'm always taking pictures with my eyes. I bet. <laughs> as long as you don't talk to everybody about all that shit with the sext in Victoria. I won't. That's what Victoria wanted. Yeah. I noticed she kind of set up her own drama, even if it fucks her over. Weird. She doesn't have to, though. That's what I don't get at all. When she's hot, rich, talented, what more does she need? Anyway, see you at the game Friday, Max. That snow was so insane. Hey, Courtney. Hello, Ciao, Max. No photos, please. 
I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Really? Oh, like you care. Yeah, I don't. You're right. I don't. Making my guest list easier. Ciao. Trevor surveys his domain. If only I knew what David Madsen was really up to. Max, can we talk? Do you mind if we talk about what happened yesterday with Chloe? You hit Chloe. I'm sure she told you why. Did she mention... She probably stole one of my guns. You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. What about Kate? You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. Hey girl, sit down. Science bar. We're in sci-fi sci lab now. I'm no screwed rings kitty. See you soon. I still have time. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. That reminds me, I have to score some weed from Nathan. Oh, Mrs. Grant. Hi, Miss Grant. Funny, I was just thinking about you, Max. It's too bad you didn't sign the petition. Every signature counts. And yours might be the one that decided. How's your campaign going? It's missing somebody who should care. But no finger pointing here, Max. <laughs> More people would rather send a text than sign a petition. That's how they keep us all distracted. Nobody will notice cameras on every square foot. Some of us want to use our cameras for good. But people like David Matson want to use them to spy. Jeez, I'm not like him, Miss Grant. I know, Max. But the trick is to make sure Blackwell Academy does not end up like him. I'm just thinking about all the autumn photos I want to take. Oh, this is my favorite time of year. I do love the season change. This whole campus is a visual delight. I know Mr. Jefferson loves to shoot around here. You must know Mr. Jefferson pretty well by now. I certainly know him as a talented artist and terrific teacher. I've been here a little longer, but he's made a bigger mark. I have to say, it's not quite autumn enough yet. What about that snow yesterday? What's your scientific explanation? Our climate is moving beyond explanation. Of course, some of the tribes here might see it different. I'm sorry, Miss Grant, but I have to get going. Go on, Max. We'll talk again. Real soon. Bring me the brain, Igor. Think, big brain. Think. Hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful, yet confused. Maxwell <laughs> Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a <laughs> bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. I'm not sure why you're letting me decide your fate, but go... Potassium. 
Potassium it shall be. If this works, you get a free hug. Weird science. There's Mr. Wizard, hard at work. Hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look... Maxwell Silver Hammer. Asking me for help? I have to add either a bit of potassium... I actually think you should use a lot of potassium. I mean, a shitload. See? Look at that smile. You're going to become a scientist yet. Gonna Let's blow do this all up. She blinded me with science. Yes! That was a blast! But this can't be that hard. Yes! That was a blast! But, let's keep it a professional secret. Cool? That was wrong, too. Have to remember hey Warren, to use the correct Maxwell asking me. I have to add either a bit of I have a vision. Go Diem. Go Diem? That's the worst pun I've ever heard. Yet Max has spoken. Sodium it is. Okay, let's see what happens. Damn. Zip. Nothing. Nada. But it's supposed to blow up like Hey, that. Warren. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Asking me for help? I have to add either a bit of potassium or... Yeah, so it's I actually to think be you that. should use a lot. See? Look at that smile. Yep. I guess that's supposed to happen. She blinded me with science. I don't want to laugh, but he looks so hilarious. Yes! That was a blast! But let's keep it a professional secret. Cool? Bring me the brain, Igor. Okay, so that was it? Yes! That was a blast! But. Let's keep it a professional secret. Cool. Hey, Brooke. Howdy, Brooke. Hi, Max. Making your daily rounds? I need to know if you can help me with a potassium experiment. No can do, Max. I'm all about robotics, not chemistry. Give me a drone over a beaker. How is your drone? Miss Grant busted me flying it over the parking lot. She's all jacked <laughs> up about surveillance bullshit. Like I was spying on Warren's new car. You already planted a GPS on him? I borrowed <laughs> the one he has on you. I hate to hit and run, but... Don't let me get in your way. So long. Yes! That was a blast! But let's keep it a professional secret. Cool? Okay.
I wish I could bring a mini Warren with me to my science exams. <laughs> Oh, Yo, on. Maxwell Smart. Talk later, cool? You just don't get it. So you can't help me? I'm trying. But you have to understand my position. Why? You don't understand mine. Nobody does. Excuse me, Max. Can you come over here? Sure. You look worried. Is everything okay? Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. But you know this. So what can I do for you, Max? Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. I stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Do you have proof he instigated the situation? My word isn't good enough? <sighs> the one time I choose not to take a picture. Always take the shot. My number one rule of photography. And Max? I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video? Kate is freaked out by all of this. She can't do homework while she's being tormented on a daily basis. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? Yes. Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. Rachel was nothing like Kate. And Principal Wells said you had something on your mind you wouldn't tell him. You care to share? I don't know if I'm going to trust him. Not right now. I'll tell you everything as soon as I figure it out. I'd like to believe that, Max. It just seems like there's a lot of drama around you this week. Listen, mm -hmm. should I... Excuse me, Max. Hello? Yes? Uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. Stella is smart to stay out of all the drama. Sure. Dana, you are out of control. Turn left, then right. Show me the love. How do I look, Taylor? You look like That's a great crazy. sketch of Dana. <laughs> Daniel is the real deal. What's up, Daniel? Waiting to draw Dana after Hayden gets his paparazzi on. I hope you <laughs> like the sketch I did of you yesterday. Love. And it's my new avatar. Excellent. I got tons of likes on FB. Ah, made you blush. Shut up. <laughs> Someday your portrait may hang in the Daniel de Costa wing of the Louvre. We'll talk about it later. Not now, Max. I'm contemplating shit. Alyssa really lives for her classes. I'm kind of doing something now, Max. Dana is ready for her 15 minutes of fame. Do you think Max will be pissed we're sitting at her desk? Oh, I'm sure she'll report us to the principal. I like Taylor's artistic side, not her personality. Like he gives a shit. 
like anybody does. Max is such a little... Shh, I think she can hear us. I feel so awkward after bagging on Victoria yesterday. I should have told the principal about Nathan and the gun just for life insurance. Yeah, I guess we need to talk to her now then, huh? Here comes the mysterious Max, disguised as a pixie hipster. Or paparazzi. I want that photo whore, or I get nasty. Too late. Meow! Bring out the claws. I love seeing chicks fight. Can I sit down, please? I don't know. Can you? Let her have the desk. That's all she's got. Assholes. Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong and weird. Hmm. <laughs> what up, Max? Hey, Warren. I saw Kate earlier and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say, and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit Maybe down. I'll see we you have later. a lot to cover today, and so little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. <laughs> She's not feeling good. It's cool that Mr. Jefferson published his own little book of photo tips. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. Maybe it involves a student, or a friend. I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to judge. Usually, people need something to judge, so they never take a good look at themselves. Mm. Okay, Max, wish you had popped a cap in Frank's ass instead of giving him the gun. No, Chloe, I do not wish that, and neither do you. Is it too late to rewind? We can thank reality TV for some of that. In the end, we can only blame ourselves for... <laughs> What's your problem? Participating. Speaking of participation... I guess Kate will miss class now. I'm worried about her. Max Caulfield, for example. Who I know can't wait to enter, right? I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying chiaroscuro. That beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. The shadow play that gives photography such visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely because of their contrasts. Although we don't technically see in my Yo! Some crazy shit is going down in the girl's dorm! Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever again. Listen, everybody remain seated. Dismissed. Uh-oh. Is this for real? It slipped out! I didn't think she was that messed up. Able to rewind again and again.
it. To roof. Yes. Yeah, but that's not doesn't mean we are done. doing here Max stop don't come near me not now it won't work I don't have any power now I have to do this by myself Max seriously don't come near me I will jump okay okay I'm right here Kate please oh Max I know you want to help me I love that you stepped up to David but it doesn't matter now nothing matters You matter, not just to me. Right you matter, and not just to me. I do want to believe that. Kate, your life is still yours, and we can get through this together. Let me help, like I helped by erasing all that crap people wrote on your room slate. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. Of course I worry. You're my friend, Kate. I did feel better talking to you on the phone. I always feel like you really listen. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. That's your story now. How can I trust you? What about this morning when I needed help? You told me to do nothing. Kate, I'm gathering proof that Nathan Prescott drugged you. And you're not the only victim. So you have to help me take Nathan down. Nathan Prescott? That makes sense. He's a scumbag. You have proof now? Soon. Then straight to the police. Think of it like we're cleansing Blackwell. You do have my back, Max. That's the first time I've felt hopeful in a week. Good. We all need to have each other's backs. So, I want you to come with me now. Please, you don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up. Uh, unless I put myself to sleep. And then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm already on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Kate, this is our chance to beat the bullies. That's the only way we can win against them. Can we really, Max? I don't believe in miracles anymore either. Now I do. You're part of the reason why. If you come down with me, I can tell you more. You're such a good person, Max. Even if you're full of crap. But I'll come with you. You're my friend. Forever. Can we hug on it? No! Nobody cares about me! Nobody! Kate, I saw that card from your father. You can count on him. He clearly loves you without question. Dad does care, even though I hurt him. He's the only one I know who believes in me. Hmm. 
I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. What are you talking about? You saved me from talking in class. Now, I know today was difficult for everybody, but I'm so proud of the way Blackwell pulled together to save a young girl's life. Of course, you're quite a hero for getting Kate to come down, Max. I didn't do much. She's modest. Like a real hero. Yeah, real hero. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not, and that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. Oh. Let's go with Nathan now. All I know is that Kate was at a party and Nathan dosed her. She got wasted and kissed some boys on a viral video without a clue. I dosed her? <laughs> without a clue. Have you seen the video? Whatever. Kate was loaded and You're a liar. The field. You told Kate you took her to the emergency room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. She sobered up eventually. Bullshit. Something happened to her, and you know it. How about we talk about you waving a gun in the girl's hey, bathroom? that's total slander. I could sue you and this school so fast. I already have a personal lawyer. Wait, Max. You told me that nothing happened yesterday. Are you just making things up? How can I trust you? I was afraid yesterday, but I have to tell the truth. I do understand that. And since Mr. Prescott does appear prominently in the video and was responsible for the party, I have no choice but to suspend him until further notice. Whatever. See you in court. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and student just tried to kill herself. They don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but I think I can use my power again. Be going with us. Well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. Hmm. I guess no movie, huh? I couldn't even believe it was happening. It was literally slow motion as I grabbed her hand. And then I could feel her grabbing mine. Max, that was the greatest thing I've ever seen. Ever! You reached out, she reached out, hugs, tears, applause, like a superhero. Not quite. Look at me. I'm a mess. You're glowing. Seriously, a human halo. I'm pretty sure you earned your wings today. I'm still worried about Kate. She did try to kill herself. 
all over a video. Viral is the right word. Like a disease. So you watched it? Just one. And a half times. Warren, I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow. Along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? What the hell is this? The weather confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. I believe you, Warren. I'll believe anything this week. to two. Let the credits roll, and that will probably be it for me today. And after that, so we will continue tomorrow with chapter 3 and so on. Bye, I'm watching. See you guys tomorrow. Keeping the credits and rolling, though. Take care, everybody.
And let's just see here. You told Kate to wait for more proof. Yes. And you answered Kate's call. You didn't try to shoot Frank. <laughs> Most tried to shoot Frank. Okay. You saved Kate's life. Blame Nathan. You didn't what do you plan that day, no? You already did that you didn't help Alyssa. Hmm. You raised the link to Kate's video. Yes. You went to friend with Taylor. Superboard's invitation. You wrote the message. You didn't tamper with the raid racks. Hmm. You didn't want to, though. You didn't warn. You told on David. Hmm. 